स्वयं कोर्सन कैट कैम एंड डॉक्टर के तमिल मनन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑन ग्राफिक डिस्प्ले सिस्टम एंड मेथड्स द ग्राफिक डिस्प्ले सिस्टम प्लेस अ इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन कंप्यूटर एडेड डिजाइन इन कंप्यूटर एडेड डिजाइन सिस्टम्स एज क्लासिफाइड two major components such as hardware and software in hardware which includes computing machine data storage devices communication devices user input devices user output devices in software concerned solid modeling assembly modeling motion simulation and animation finite element analysis and so on color crt monitor color crt monitor is a device which is used to display the variety of colors pictures by using combination of phosphors we can have the different combination of phosphors we can get new different colors that emits a different color light the image shows a different colors gun such as red gun green gun blue gun this each color guns emits the respective color electron beam the electron the red can emits a red electron beam green can emits a green electron beam and blue can emits a blue electron beam the combination of all colors we can have the new different colors at the crt screen the combining the emitted light from the different phosphors the range of colors can be generated so combining the different colors phosphors we can have the different range of colors can be generated in the crt screen there are two basic techniques for producing the color displays with the crt display device cathode ray tube display device such as beam penetration method another one is the shadow mask method in beam penetration method concerned that it is a method of displaying color pictures has been used with the random scan monitors or random scan techniques in beam generation method the random scan techniques used to construct the graphical image on the crt screen the two layer of phosphors usually red and green are coated to the inside of the crt screen in beam penetration method the two phosphor layers such as red and green are coated to inside the crt screen the displayed colors depends on how far the electron beam penetrates how the electron how far the distance how the what are the distance the electron beam penetrates from the electron gun to the phosphor coated screen so the, based on that the color has been created the displayed color depends upon the the distance of the electron beam penetrates the speed of electrons hence the screen color at any point is controlled by acceleration voltage the acceleration beam acceleration voltage which is used to control the speed of electrons as well as the screen color at any point in beam electron beam penetration method the beam of slow electrons excite only outer red layer the beam of very fast electron penetrates through the red layer and excites the inner green layer the image shows that the beam of slow electrons is excites the only outer red layer the image shows the outer red layer the slow electron beams excites the fast electron beams penetrates through the red layer but excites in the inner green layer at intermediate beam speeds combination of red and green light are emitted to show the additional colors if we combination of these two colors we can have the additional colors in the crt graphic display device or crt graphic screen in it is a inexpensive and not having much quality output the beam generation method is inexpensive it, it cannot produce a much quality output the ability of display graphic images by applying single or multi colors so that the colors provide the ability to display the various graphic images it can be 
by represent by single colors or multi colors the capabilities of representing the objects and images by multi or different colors the capabilities of representing the object or images by by, by using single or multi or different colors the animated pictures in computer graphics are largely depend on the hardware consideration so the animated pictures in the computer graphics is mainly dependent on the hardware consideration the beam penetration method for displaying color pictures has been used the random scan monitors so that in beam generation and penetration method for displaying the color picture using the random scan monitor or random scan techniques the typical crt uses three electron beams and color dots so in general the cathode ray tube graphic display devices uses three electron beams and color dots on the phosphor coated screen which is used to provide the each three colors such as red green and blue this combining these three colors at different intensity levels the variety of colors can be created on the screen this is the basic principle of the colors creations next is the animation animation is a basically is a process of designing making layouts preparation of photographic sequence in the form of moving images it is integrated with the multimedia as an gaming products so animation is a basically a process of designing designing of new products new images new objects or making various type of layouts and preparation of photographic sequences in the form of moving images so it's integrated with the multimedia and gaming products the capabilities of animation in computer graphics is limited to display methods in which the image can be quickly redrawn so the capabilities of animation in computer graphics can be quickly redrawn the images in cad system the animation would be most powerful feature in application where the kinematic simulation is required so wherever the moving objects required the kinematic simulation required vibrations are required so that the animation is plays a important role in the kinematic simulations it is a powerful tool animation is a powerful tool and fast cpu interface to the graphics terminal it can be interface with the cpu at fast rate and to process the large volume of data required for animated images also it's quickly process the large volume of data required for the animated images both direct beam refresh and raster scan systems the, the both techniques are which is most suitable for capable of animations so in that animation we can have, we can use the, the both techniques beam ref, direct beam refresh and raster scan system techniques now we are going to discuss the shadow mask method this is a common method which is used the raster scan systems raster scan techniques because they produce much wider range of colors than beam generation method so the shadow mask method is produce a wider range of colors than beam generation method that's why the raster scan techniques can be used in the shadow mask method the image shows a electron gun and screen and shadow mask the shadow mask is placed in between the electron gun and screen the shadow mask crt has three phosphor color dot at each pixel positions so each and every pixel position having the each color dots for each color each three phosphor color dots such as red green and blue one phosphor dot emits red light from the red electron gun and another phosphor electron gun emits the green light from the green electron gun and third electron gun emits the blue light this type of crt has three electron guns one for each color dot the shadow mask grid just behind the phosphor coated screen so that shadow mask screen is just placed just behind the phosphor coated screen delta and delta shadow mask method is commonly used in color crt systems 
So in color CRT system, the delta and delta shadow mask method is most preferable for color CRT systems. The three electron beams are deflected. The red, blue, and green has been deflected and focused as a group on the shadow mask, which contains series of holes aligned with the phosphor dot patterns. The, this shadow mask contains a series of holes and aligned with the phosphor dotted patterns so that the three electron beams are deflected and focused through the, the shadow mask holes. When the three beams pass through a hole in the shadow mask, they activate a dot triangle. When the three electron beams is passing through the shadow mask holes, they acti act automatically they activate a dot triangle which appears a small color spot. So that it's activated the dot triangle, it can be appears a small color spot on the CRT screen. This is the basic principle of shadow mask method. The phosphor dots in the triangles are arranged so that each electron beam can activate only its corresponding color dot. So the phosphor dots in the triangle are arranged in this systematic manner so that the each color dot can be activated when it is passing through the shadow mask. In line arrangement in which three electron guns on the screen are aligned along one scan line instead of the triangular pattern. Instead of the triangular pattern, it can be arranged in the, the scan line. Inline arrangement of electron guns easier to keep alignment and it's commonly used high resolution color CRTs. So it is capable to keep the alignment easily and also it's capable to provide the high resolution color CRT screen in the images. Shadow mask method, the color variations in shadow mask CRT by varying the intensity level of three electron beams. So we can vary the three electron beams intensity the color automatically, simultaneously, correspondingly the color variation can be takes place. The color we can vary the color in the CRT screen. By turning off red and green guns, if you, if you turn off the red and green guns, we can have the blue color phosphor coated in the CRT screen. The similarly, if we turn off green and blue, we can have the red color in the CRT screen. Similarly, if we turn off red and blue, we can have the green color in the CRT screen. So the other combination of beam intensities produce a small light spot for each pixel portion. So each and every pixel portion a small light spot can be produced in the CRT screen. Since our eyes tends to merge the three colors to one composite. The color depends on amount of excitation of red, green and blue phosphors. So that, that amount of excitation is based on the red, green and blue phosphors. In shadow mask method, white area is the result of activating all three dots with the equal intensity. So that white area or gray area shows the result it's activating all three dots with equal intensity. But in yellow is produced the within green and red dots only. But in magenta is produced with blue and red dots only. Cyan it's produced with blue and green dots only. So the, in some law of cost systems, in low cost systems, the electron beam can only be set to on or off lifting display eight colors. It's a low, the shadow mask method, again, it's a low cost systems. It can be set in different on or off positions. We can have the different eight colors to displayed in the CRT screen. So that the principle of a delta and delta shadow mask CRT shows in the images, the three electron guns align the triangular color dot patterns on the screen are directed to each dot triangle by shadow mask. The electron guns, the green, blue and red, it passing through the that shadow mask pattern and displayed in the magnified phosphor dot triangle in the CRT screen. 
the table column shows the, the various value of intensity of electron beam red green blue so the according to the intensity of the electron beam the color of the the color has been created in the crt screen so if red is zero intensity of beam red is zero intensity of beam green is zero and intensity of beam blue is zero we can have the black color similarly if the beam intensity is red is zero green is also zero if blue is one we can have the blue color similarly if red is zero green is one blue is zero we can have the green color if red is zero if green is one if blue is one we can have the cyan color if red is one green is zero blue is zero we can have the red color if red is one green is zero blue is one we can have the magenta color if red is one green is one if blue is zero we can have the yellow color similarly the electron beams if red is one green is one if blue is one we can have the white color so that the varying the intensity of red green and blue we can have the different eight colors in the crt graphic display device next the flat panel display method the flat panel display technology is becoming increasingly in the wide variety of con con consumer devices so nowadays the flat panel display technology we are using in all mode of consumer applications such as which includes cellular phones digital cameras liquid crystal display such as lcd televisions and various type of computer displays laptops ipads and so on similarly and personal digital assistants and the other personal digital assistants also the flat panel display are using the graphic monitors are still constructed with crts other technologies are emerging that may soon replace the crt monitors so that the graphic monitors still it's play the uh, display the graphical images very soon that the crt technologies is replaced so some of uh, display devices crts now now itself it can be replaced the flat panel display refers to the class of video devices that we have reduce volume reduce the weight less weight less power requirements when compared to crt so that the flat panel display technology is preferable for the displaying the graphical image on the screen these flat panel displays are very lighter much thinner than compared to other traditional televisions and video displays the current use of flat panel displays which includes small tv monitors calculators packet video games laptop computers arm pressed viewing of movies and airlines in the aircraft we have the, the television facilities that's flat panel as advertisement of boards in elevators so that various de uh, devices can be apply the flat panel display and as graphic displays in applications requiring rigged portable monitors and pocket notepads the liquid crystal display are organic molecules naturally in crystalline state so lcd it's it's basically it's organic molecules it's naturally in crystalline state then it get liquidified when excited by heat the electron beam the cathode is heated the electron beam emits the the organic molecules naturally it should be in crystalline state that should be converted into liquid phi due to the the heated the cathode heated in the electron gun so that the electron gun it emits the liquidified crystalline state electron beam the crystalline state twists polarized by by 90 degree 
like light emitting diode and gas plasma technologies. So the same as uh, emitting diode and gas plasma technology have the twisting polarized by light by 90 degree. LCD allows a display to much thinner than cathode ray tube terminology. So that LCD is uh, the display are much thinner than when compared to the cathode ray tube technology. LCD consumes much less power compared to that LED or any other uh, gas displays like plasma. So that work on the principle of the blocking of light rather than emitting it. Because that LCD is working on principle of this emitting of the light rather than the blocking of light. Liquid crystal display is made with either a passive matrix or an active matrix. So it can be worked, uh, working based on the passive matrix or active matrix. The polished silicate layer provides a thin film transistor at each pixel. So each and every pixel, the polished silicate provides a thin film transistor, which is allowing the direct pixel access and constant illuminations in the display grid. The active matrix LCD is also known as thin film transistor display. So active matrix LCD we can call as thin film transistor display. The passive matrix LCD has a grid of conductors with pixels located at each intersection in the grid. The current is sent to across two conductors on grid to control the light of any pixel. So that uh, pixel light can be controlled by the two conductors on the grid. In active matrix as a transistor <laughs> located at each pixel intersection. So each and every uh, pixel intersection the transistor has been located which is requiring the less current to control the illuminance of the pixel. So, so it is required very less current or less power to control the illuminance of the pixels. In passive matrix the pixels are illuminated in scan line order like a raster display techniques. But lack of phosphorence causes a flicker. So if the, due to the lack of phosphorence it, the flickering will take place. LCD have dual scanning capabilities such as that means that they can scan grid twice with the same current and the same time. However, the active matrix is still superior technology when compared to the passive matrix. LCD technology needs to refresh the screen before the picture disappears in every time. So, uh, this uh, graphic display system needs for various kind of CAD software such as AutoCAD and TurboCAD which is used for two dimensional graphic image creations and ProE, ProE Wildfire SolidWorks which is used for three dimensional graphic image creations and analysis of various graphical images or objects by using the ANSYS, ANSYS fluids and CATIA. These are the software which is used for in the CAD systems. Learners, so far we have discussed classification of hardware and software, color CRT monitor, shadow mask method, beam penetration method and flat panel display method such as liquid crystal display methods LCD, light emitted diode methods LED. So far we have discussed the various topics in graphic display methods. Hope you might have understand the various graphic display methods. Thanks for passion, listen.